Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Is channel. JavaScript Lesson 8 Conditionals and True the and False Values. Conditionals lets you control the flow of the program. We do that by using if statements, else statement, and else if statements. So let's take a look at an example. Firstly, uh, I have created an immediately invoking function and use strict is the mode that we are running our JavaScript. So let's first create a variable called x and give, assign it the value of 0. And let's create a st if statement. If within parentheses you write our expression. And within the curly brackets are the statements that will run if the expression evaluates to be true. So let's put a console log. This is true. Okay, now let's have an expression. So let's check if x is equal to 0. Now we use three equal signs to evaluate, to check if the data types and the value is the same. So x, the data type is 0 and the zero's data type is also, sorry, the x's data type is number and the zero's data type is also number. So that is correct and the values are the same so this will evaluate to true and then this console log will occur will run okay let's check in our console and to see the message in the console this is true same way we now this bit of code runs only if this expression is true if it's false we can run a separate bit of code saying console log this is false okay so right now let's change this to 1 now x is not equal to 1 so this statement will give out false so the else statement will run this is false again these are branches so this is one branch and this is another branch we can have many number of branches by using the else if keyword else if and within parentheses we have our expression and we can write another expression here so we can check whether x is equal to 2 and if that is so we can write another state statement and say this uh, the value of x x is 2 so we can have many as many number of else ifs as you want so okay so how javascript runs this is it first checks this and if this becomes false then it checks this remember it has to be false to check this if this becomes true then javascript will not uh, go to these lines okay so x is not now right now zero so this will also not run i'm going to change the value of this to zero now we should view the value see the value of x is 2 we have forgot our semicolon right now check the value of x is equal to true now let's move on to true the values true the values is a value that translates true when evaluate to boolean context javascript has to do this every time it checks for expression so let's do this let's have a string here string one now this is not a boolean value so javascript has to have to tell whether this is true or false in this occasion javascript javascript will say that this is a true the value because it evaluates to be true i have some examples here of true the values so if we put in true in the parentheses of the if statement we be, we get that's a true the value if we pass in an object to if statement then that is also a true the value same goes to an array an integer a string and a new date will also be tr true the value in the same way javascript also evaluates some values to be false events so if false it's a false value if null is also a false value undefined false value zero nan empty strings empty string and document dot all 
are all falsy values. So we can check that by using this. Let's do undefined. Undefined. Now let's now this will not run. This is true. The console will not run. It will run the console log of this is false because undefined gives out a false value. Refresh and check. This is true. Oh, I shouldn't have. Okay, X is two. Let's get rid of this else if statement. Okay, this is false. Now remember, else runs when everything else falls. So if this becomes false and this becomes false, then this will run. It's kind of a, like a default. If nothing else happens, is evaluates to true, then the else statement will run. Okay, so that is true the and false values. Next, we have the ternary operator. Ternary operator is a shorthand way of writing the if statement with a two branch if statement. We can't have, we can't take two, we can't check two expressions using a ternary operator. So let's do ternary operator. We the syntax for that is parentheses where you write your expression. Next, you have a question mark. Next, you will have the a particular statement you want to run if this expression is turned out to be true. So I'm going to say console log and put true and we have a colon and say console log false. So this console log will run if the expression is false. So let me, let's have an expression here and let's have true. Now true is a true the value you can see that here so this the console log true will run yes we get that okay so that covers the ternary operator so it's pretty useful to have a, if you want to check conditional on one line this is the best way to go okay again we have we covered the if else if we can have as many number of else ifs as we want uh, yes so that is the that is conditionals where right there you it explains how you can control the flow of the program by uh, evaluating an expression okay so that covers this lesson i hope you enjoyed this one stay tuned for more do subscribe and do like and do comment i need your feedback to improve thank you very much stay tuned and have fun bye